Hey everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. Uh, we found a dungeon. It was complete mayhem. But we're out. And we did ultimately survive. Which was nice to see. Uh, we do have a space marked uh, back here somewhere. Not sure how to reach that exactly. That could very well be... Uh, I don't know, maybe it's like a... Maybe a statue or something up top? I'm not sure, because we don't really have access up there, unless the area below here uh, maybe wraps around. You know what? Let's try this. Let's, uh, we got some new ashes. Okay, they're not going to be as upgraded. But let's see what they do. Pretty sure I know what he's going to do. Oh, actually, he looks way more badass than I thought. I thought he was going to be some sorcerer type. And he might be, but he looks well equipped. So does Whippy Boy down here. Whoa. Get in there, Fire Monk. Oh yeah, Fire versus Fire. It's going to work great. Guys, gargantuan. Okay, that went well. This is how we die. Oh. Alright, buddy. Okay, so that gets through a little bit. Ouch. The little whippy sounds are cool. Oh, I think I gotta try and take them out. Damn it. <laughs> Did I not rest on my way out? That was real close. Oh, he gave us a bunch of charges. Fire Prelate Helm. Gauntlets. Yeah, I'll take that. So, this is likely fire resist. 
fire 7.2. I mean, yes. It is said that the cauldron perched atop the head was originally furnished with embers and would surge into flames when the wearer's faith reached its zenith. The fire of this cauldron has since died out, however. Hmm. Etch this sight upon thine breast or my or of my thunderous gravity. So it's a little bit heavier. More fire resist. A little bit more poise. Takes us into that heavy load area. It's always so surprising. Ooh, Briars of Punishment. It's so surprising when uh, you just walk up to an enemy unassuming and you hit it and it's like no damage happens. Wounds the caster with thorns of sin, sending a trail of blood thorns running over the ground to impale enemies from below. This sorcery can be cast repeatedly. The guilty, their eyes gouged by thorns, lived in eternal darkness. There they discovered the blood star. So it's a friendly, it's a friendly spell. Why do I feel like a dragon's gonna come and just knock me off of here? Look carefully. I see a dude on the left. Up there. Arch. Oh no, really? Where's the. Is that the guy that I'm seeing? He gonna launch those homing bolts at me? Yep, he is. Yeah, so now it's giving me some stuff to kind of block, at least. Now watch, he's gonna have a buddy that just comes over here with a giant club as well. I need a, we need a sight of grace immediately. I got runes burning a hole in my pocket right now. Okay, so we've reached the other side. Can't. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. Can we not force here? Just learned recently that you can kind of... You can hold R2 
or L2, and these will hit enemies just as you pass them. Be kind of nice in a few scenarios I can think of that we've already encountered. Here we go. All right, so we're going to do a couple things. We're going to level once. Oh, we can talk to Melina here. Think not of the kindling. I shall see to that. All I ask of you is to make the journey. See, she to the snowy mountain tops of the giants, far above the clouds. I know. I'm asking you to commit a cardinal sin, but it must be done to reach the path beyond, and that is the path I wish to travel. What is your mind? So, uh. She seems willing. When we talked to that Shabriri that we met, he was kind of saying that she's going to have to be sacrificed whether she likes it or not. And... Yeah, I'm not sure... I'm not sure how that's going to go. Okay, we have those bell bearings we could turn in. Well, I took you for no matter. It's all out your arm. Okay, so I don't have enough to upgrade this. I can't do the rapier. We could do the... Blood. Oh, we want the Serpent Sword. That's the one that gives us uh, the healing on kills. Okay, so we won't do any of those. Greetings, are you here for spirit? So the Twin Sage is maxed. And Oleg, our other upgraded guy, is maxed. I'm curious, like, maybe if we put one point into uh, our FP, we could get that up to 104, and that might be better. I'm not sure. It's worth a try. We can give these guys the bell bearings. Okay. Oh, they're selling uh, grave glow warts here. Okay. Let's check to see what we even needed there. Greetings, are you here for spit? Okay, so I need I need <laughs> I need uh Glove Wart five and Glove Wart fours. The named summons obviously seem a little bit better. Kind of depends on the fight, though. 
Greetings. If I'm going to be tanking or not. Okay. We have a bunch of these. My bad. I misread these. <laughs> oh, yeah. We um we need ghost glo glove warts, not grave for these. So that's unfortunate. Uh twin sages are at plus six. Fire monks at plus one. I mean these are our best. Okay, great glaive glove warts. Okay, ghost glove warts is what we really need. I don't think those guys sold them, but that's okay. I'm not using these for anything else, so. I feel like if they sell the ghost ones, it's probably too strong, but maybe you can get them somewhere. Yeah. Okay, let's return. I'm just waiting to get, like, an archery shot. Yep, here we go. Oh, no, not an archery. Not an archer, I should say. This is the land of giants, after all. forget about the pull out. Never forget about that. I'm wondering if it was insta-kills, like, from that, but... What did I say? Halberd. You know, in a way, it's kind of cool that we've <laughs> just stuck with our starting weapon the entire time. At least for me. Wielded by the Guardian Golem. Um, we've kind of, uh, we've dabbled in other weapons. 
Let's see if I can find this tree. Just giants everywhere. Blinging? Probably heal just in case here. is unfortunate. Ouch. Oh, there's a seed tree there. Okay, so that tree is way up there. So we're not getting to that. As far as I can tell. There's a telescope spot and then a ob pretty obvious set of runes. Oh, maybe we can get up there with the bridge. Let's see? Or even this way? What the? Oh my god. Call me the Giant Slayer.
Another one of these. So the last time we ran into one, the theory was we're going to get the enemy to break it. I didn't know that was here. I'm very curious as to what's inside those. I think that's only the second one I've seen. What do we need to level now? 40 something? 44. Is this guy back? Yeah. Let's try this. Over here, dum dum. I can't even cast these twin stages. Oh, oh yeah, because we're not allowed. <laughs> I was like, did their FP go up? Nice. Okay. Not crucial, but definitely a nice to have. Here's the telescope. This will give us like a bird's eye view here. Okay, so there's the site of grace. We go up top. Couple of enemies follow the trail to the bridge. Bridge takes us up to the tree. But we also have... Uh, well, I don't know if that's... I don't think that's climbable from there. Maybe it's all accessed from the bridge. We'll take a look. I mean... Do we have a little map? Oh yeah, we do. Check this out. Maybe we see if we can ride around this, try to grab that map, just so we have an easier time navigating later. Oh, hello. I've got keys. Will this be worth it? That's Spirit Caller Cave. <laughs> oh, God. Pure darkness. Okay, tell you what. Uh, why don't we wrap it up here? A little bit shorter than the last few episodes, but um, we'll investigate the Spirit Caller Cave. And <laughs> and then I think we'll try and get this map. That'll probably uncover this huge chunk here. Um, and actually, interesting thing is, this is pointing over in this way, not towards those ruins with the bridge and stuff. But I do want to check that because I want to get to that tree and see what's going on as well. Anyways, we'll figure it out when we come back. Thank you guys so much. Bye for now.